What's up guys and welcome back to another G35 video. So in today's video we're going to be installing a short throw shifter on the G35. So there's actually a lot of brands of short throw shifters for the G35. So I ended up going with a Torque Solutions short throw shifter because I've heard really good reviews from it and it also is really well made. So I'm really excited to put this on the car. It's something that I feel like every G35 owner should put on their G35 just because it'll make it more enjoyable to drive and you obviously get that satisfying feeling feel because there is a ball bearing instead of it having like a nylon bushing you'll definitely get way more driver feel because of that now to go along with the brand new short shifter i ended up picking up this shift boot i'd been looking online to get a brand new shift boot and the custom ones were way too expensive for what they are so i ended up going to the best place to get car parts ebay <laughs> so this is a suede shift boot and it also has orange stitching so it matches with my steering wheel the reason why i ended up going with suede was to go ahead and match with the headliner in the future because I am planning in the future to go ahead and install the starlight headliner and change the headliner to black So I just figured to buy the shift boot right now in suede then in the future So now the last piece that you'll need if you're looking to do this yourself is the shifter cup It's kind of a pain to take off the old one So I definitely recommend picking yourself up a new shifter cup an interesting thing is if your shifter cup is worn out How they usually are after a hundred thousand miles you'll feel your shifter wobble as if it's loose and uh, It just won't feel as tight and as nice so even if you can take off the shift boot and go ahead and put on your new one I still recommend getting yourself a new one just because you'll have like a loose shifter feel which I can show right now So I wanted to show you guys when the shifter cup is worn out how it looks like and how it feels like This is just all shifter play because the shift cup is so loose now and worn out that it makes the shifter look like it's loose So this isn't neutral. This is just me moving it back and forth This is how much looseness it has so I definitely recommend just replacing the shifter cup so you don't have this problem now before we install the short throw shifter, let's go ahead and I'll show you guys the before of how the shifting looks like so that way you guys get an idea of the difference before and after. So let's go ahead and take it out for a drive. Can I get eight tacos please? Eight tacos, sure. So now that you guys saw the before, let's go ahead and install the short shifter on the G35. So like almost every single video that I do, if we gotta go ahead and jack it up, there is a 12 mil bolt in the bottom that we have to get to so we can take off the shifter. So let's go ahead and jack it up. You're gonna have to take off this rubber shift boot that's in the bottom of the shifter. Once you take that off, there's gonna be a 12 millimeter on the driver's side. So go ahead and take off that bolt and then we'll be good to go in the bottom so then we can do all the other work up top. So if you guys saw in last week's video, I ended up installing a polyurethane transmission mount on the G35. A little update on it, it did soften up quite a bit actually. It ended up softening up after like three days of driving. It's not nearly as harsh as it was in the beginning so that's something to take note of. So I just thought I'd let you guys know. So now you took off the 12 millimeter bolt we can go ahead and shift into circle so i like going into circle it's the best gear that the g35 has i definitely recommend doing it enough joking around so first thing we want to do is remove the shift knob and then remove this little collar so let's go ahead and just twist this one off and then we'll be good to go With the knob and the collar removed, we can go ahead and just pry off this panel like so. Then we're going to have a couple connectors in the back for the emergency lights and then the courtesy light on the ashtray. So you'll want to disconnect those and then just remove this piece. You're going to have four bolts that you want to remove. After you remove this, you'll be able to take off this rubber piece. All right guys, so with that rubber piece taken off, you can literally see through onto the floor, which is kind of weird to look at once you're on the driver's seat and you see the floor. So after you take off that rubber piece, you're gonna have another rubber piece and under it is gonna be three more bolts and then you'll be able to go ahead and take off the shifter. Here we can see the difference between the old one and the new one. This rod right here is longer so that way you have the same amount of effort but you have a shorter throw. Again, one of the big differences is that this has a nylon bushing and this is a ball bearing so there is no bushing on this one so it'll feel a lot more direct. I believe it's like 37% shorter throw which is a pretty big difference. We're going to go ahead and press on the new shifter onto the shift cup. There's two ways you can go ahead and press on the cup. One way is putting 
in the cup like this, this piece of wood on top of the shifter and hammering down so you can press it on. The second way you can do is just get a press if you have a press and use that and you can go ahead and press it on no problem. Before that we need to go ahead and grease the shifter cup just so that way we don't hear any noises and it moves smoothly. So all I'm doing is putting it all along the edges where the ball would meet against the shifter cup once you press it on. So we're going to go ahead and press on the shifter onto the shifter cup now. So now it's pressing on and it should just like snap into place. There we go. Here we have the shift boot and we're gonna be replacing this as well. The shift boot that I bought has these whole cutouts ready to go, plug and play to the ones that this one has already. All you have to do is take off a couple screws and then you can take off this plate. All you're gonna need is a screwdriver to take this off and you can replace it with the new one. Top five mods to your trash can. Put a Z1 Motorsports sticker, now you know it's yours. This is the shift boot done and installed. It looks really nice. I like the way it came out. I love the stitching. I wanted orange, glad I found it. I ended up putting back the collar on and then on the other side under, I have a zip tie holding it together. So let's go ahead and go into the car and install all this. First thing that goes inside, right there, that spacer. After the spacer, you're gonna put the spring. After the spring, you're gonna go ahead and put the other spring spacer on and then from there you have the shift cup that you want to press on so there's this little notch right here it'll match up to the cutout over here on the metal so when you press down it literally will only press down one way like so so that way you know that you have it right. We're gonna go ahead and adjust the plate to make sure that we have the proper clearance because what a lot of people do, they actually don't make the clearance right. It'll be way too close to where fifth and sixth, you can't really get into them and it's really, really crunchy to get in. So that means that this plate was not adjusted properly. So what we're gonna do right now is we're gonna go under the car, put in the 12 millimeter bolt again, just so that way we know exactly where fifth and sixth is. And then from there, we can go ahead and adjust the plate. <laughs> No, <laughs> right now I'm installing the 12 millimeter bolt there's gonna be two little washers or like spacers that you're supposed to put on the ball bearing once you put the spacers in then you can go ahead and put the 12 millimeter bolt back in and just torque it back up you're supposed to torque it to 10 foot pounds literally just snugging it up nothing crazy so make sure you can go into fifth Make sure you can go into six. There is a bit of space in between. And then most importantly, what you wanna make sure you do is make sure you can go into reverse. There's like no problem to get into reverse. So it's good to go. Ew. You go I don't want it anymore. You can keep it. Ugh, the way it just flopped on there. Oh my God, that feels crazy. Dude, that feels insane. And I love how the suede looks. The suede looks really nice. And also the orange stitching just makes it look super nice. I'm really happy with how this came out. So next clip, we're gonna go ahead and try this out, see how it feels and see the difference, you know, more banging gears, see if you can notice a difference from it. Those are so short. It takes some time to like get used to it. It goes bop and that's it. It doesn't feel like a throw. It feels like you're just clicking it in. It's, uh, I can't even explain. My mind, I don't know if you guys noticed in the video, my mind is still leaving the hand like half a second longer on there just because the throw that I know of beforehand of having the short throw shifter is still ingrained in my head. So when I'm shifting, I'm still like, oh, I'm not there yet, but I'm like at the fucking next gear already and I'm not even like prepared for that. This is a good mod for daily driving and also the track. The throws are so short that you don't really need to like focus on shifting. You just need to like throw it into the next gear. The throws on the stock shifter aren't that bad. So if you really wanted to, you could go ahead and do some other mod. Maybe if you want power out of your car, but if you've already done a couple mods and this is something that you feel like would benefit you, whether you're 
trying to bang gears so you can lower your shift times or if you wanted to do you know anything else I mean it still drives like a normal car when you're shifting this is as much experience as I have in short throw shifters so I definitely do recommend torque solutions they didn't skip out on anything quality wise it definitely has everything there this is the only one I can really recommend there's definitely a bunch of other ones even adjustable height if you wanted that but this is the only one I decided to go with because of the quality that they put into it and how direct and how good the reviews are on the short throw shifter the people have been watching the channel they would know that I installed an oil cooler on the G35 so the oil cooler I ended up putting on the G35 was an Amazon oil cooler I picked it up for like a hundred bucks a really good deal on the oil cooler so I ended up having some problems with it where it was leaking oil uh, kind of annoying chasing the leaks essentially so I got a message yesterday from one of you guys asking if the oil cooler was holding up all right so the sandwich plate the lines and the cooler itself are great I just think that the fittings that come with the kit are not up to par I would definitely replace them with an AeroQuip Russell or Earl's fittings because those are the best fittings you can really get these are from Russell which is a great brand for AN fittings I just wanted to be the guinea pig for you guys I wanted to go ahead and test it out and give you guys my thoughts on the kit so I definitely recommend the kit I just recommend that you guys go ahead and pick up some fittings anyways guys like this video if you did enjoy it subscribe if you're new around here I got plenty of G35 content on the channel and I'll see you guys in the next video peace